question 47 show that the functions e raised to x cos x and e raised to x sin x are linearly independent form the differential equation of second order having these two functions as independent solution so we we have given y1 of x is equal to e raised to x cos x and y2 of x equal to e raised to x sin x so uh, in in order to show that these two functions are linearly independent we have to take the ron skin ron skin of x is defined as y1 of x y2 of x y1 dash of x if ron skin is not equal to 0 uh, for, uh, for a given interval uh, then uh, these functions are linearly independent so this becomes e raised to x cos x e raised to x sin x differential so e raised to x into cos x uh, minus sin x uh, and uh, co differential of cos x is minus sin x and cos x into e raised to x so since we took uh, e raised to x outside we can write cos x similarly differential of e raised to x sin x is cos x plus sin x so we just applied the product rule so this is the determinant now we can just open it mm. e raised to 2x into cos square x plus cos x sin x minus e raised to 2x so I'm just going ahead uh, we have to inverse the sign minus uh, sin square x minus sin square x so plus sin square x and um, sin x cos x minus sin x cos x so here ron skin is equal to e raised to 2x cos cos x and sin x get cancelled cos square x plus sin square x is equal to 1 so ron skin is equal to e raised to 2x we can see that this is not equal to 0 uh, for uh, for interval infinity to minus infinity to infinity for any x uh, it is not equal to 0 so we can say that uh, y1 x therefore y1 of x and y2 x are linearly independent now we need to form a solution uh, uh, form a differential equation that has y1 x and y2 x as uh, independent solution so we can write a general form y equal to a into e raised to x cos x plus b into e raised to x sin x so this is our general form now differentiating let this be equation 1 on 1 we get y dash equal to a into e raised to x minus sin x uh, plus cos x plus b into e raised to x sin x plus cos x so we can simplify this this is a e raised to x cos x plus b e raised to x sin x uh, minus 
a a raised to x sin x plus b e raised to x uh, so, so sorry can write I'll just plus uh, minus a e raised to x sin x plus b e raised to x cos x. So uh, this is nothing but y. So we can write y dash is equal to y plus this term minus a cos x now differentiating it one more time this equation let this be equation 2 d by dx on 2 we get y double dash equal to y dash plus <coughs> um, minus a into e raised to x cos x plus e raised to x sin x and plus b into e raised to x minus sin x plus cos x sorry so here also there is the bracket so e raised to x into cos x uh, sorry we can write e raised to x cos x so this is the equation just write it properly e raised to x cos x so this is the equation so it becomes y double dash equal to y dash uh, we can uh, minus we can see our y is minus of a e raised to x cos x and here also minus plus b e raised to x sin x and we have minus a e raised to x sin x and plus b e raised to x cos x so we uh, this term this term from 2 we know that minus a e raised to x sin x plus b e raised to x cos x is equal to y dash minus y so we can replace this term with y dash minus y and this is y so this therefore using using 1 and 2 we get y double dash equal to y dash minus y minus y dash sorry plus y dash minus y so we get y double dash minus 2 y dash uh, plus 2 y equal to 0 so this is the required differential equation so which satisfies y1 uh, which has y1x and y2x as their independent solutions so these are the steps so this is the solution to question 47.